Hello everyone and happy Friday and welcome to this Friday edition of the Entertainment Report right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's get started with the Entertainment Report right now. First up, Zendaya reacts to viral pregnancy rumors. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. TikTok video went viral showing a sonogram from what seems like Zendaya's account. Zendaya is clearing up rumors that she's pregnant. Who knows? The world may never know. Well, now we know. She quickly shut down fans speculating that she's expecting a child with boyfriend Tom Holland. The actress wrote on her Instagram story, See, now this is why I stay off Twitter, just making stuff up for no reason. But the actress isn't too focused on the rumors swirling. She's busy on set for her new movie. Zendaya added, anyway, back to filming Challengers. Fans have been falling for the new prank on TikTok where you get hashtag Chris. Viewers watch a fake story, then Chris Jenner pops up proving it's all a hoax. Still, the prank has many on Twitter fooled. Even Lil Nas X reacted to the fake baby news. The rapper responded writing, I hate Twitter because I'm sitting here about to congratulate Zendaya via DM about a baby that doesn't exist. Can we just, like, stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. Tom and Zendaya, who co-star in Spider-Man No Way Home, have famously been private about their romance. I just feel very lucky. But the pair gives a little glimpse of their relationship on social media. Zendaya posted this sweet birthday shout-out to Tom, writing, Happiest of birthdays to the one who makes me the happiest. And Zendaya and Tom aren't shy about showing love on the gram. Back in September, Tom shared a tribute to Z for her 25th birthday with the cutest pic of the pair with Tom in his Spidey suit. Very sweet post from Tom. What was it like to see the post? And uh, I noticed you commented calling now. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, I, I am, um, yeah, I was, it was sweet, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, um, yeah, no, I, um, I appreciated, you know, the love that I got from my loved ones and then also from, you know, the world. It was, I, I felt incredibly loved and, and grateful for, for all of that. So, you know, I have no complaints. It was a great birthday and now I'm here. So not bad. When Tom's not playing Spider-Man, he's supporting the Euphoria star when she's taking a break from channeling her character, Ruth. I think it's, it's great to have that support and, and that love around you because you need that, you know? This isn't an easy, easy job, so it's good to have that to, to free you up from it every now and then. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Why Selena Gomez felt like a joke after leaving Disney Channel. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. To help reduce plastic waste in our environment, America's beverage companies are carefully designing our bottles to be 100% recyclable. That means every bottle that's recycled can be turned into material we use to make new bottles. Please, Please help us get every bottle back. I felt like it was very difficult for people to take me seriously. I felt like a joke, you know? Selena Gomez is getting real about life after Disney. Everything is not what it seems. Yeah, everything was not what it seems for Phil as she rebranded herself from child star to legit actor. I, I feel like this time I'm, I'm just so confident and comfortable and I feel free more than I've ever felt in my whole life. She opens up about her journey to that place on the Hollywood Reporter's Awards Chatter podcast. I'm not going to be one to just be like, poor me or woe is me because I have slowly pushed through that and I'm really glad. But it was very frustrating. There were moments where I felt like I was... I was just like, I don't I don't have what it takes to do this. But now, Selena says she's only grown from it and is grateful for her past. I am so grateful because everything that I've done, I've earned and I've worked really hard for. And I would never replace that for the world. If everything was handed to me, I guarantee you I would be a totally different person. And I've seen that happen in, in people and that's so 
disheartening. It's something she opened up to E.T. about in 2012, too, around the time Wizards of Waverly Place wrapped. It's been interesting watching that transition go throughout the years. I mean, there were girls that are my that were my age, 16, when I started, and now they're 19, 20 with me, and we kind of grew up together. So in a way, some of my fans have already grown with me, and others I'm gaining new fans that are still young. Do you have any regrets yet? I mean, is, are you? do you think you're I too... Don't, I, don't, too... I, don't, I don't like regrets. Okay. I mean, I've made mistakes, but I mean, everything happens for a reason. Another thing she doesn't regret, her past relationships. Selena shared hints about her love life in her music, which came up during the THR chat. The star says her breakup with Justin Bieber and the public attention surrounding it only made her stronger. I do know that during that time, I was learning so much about myself. I was, you know, obviously going through a really uh, tough breakup. It was really hard, but, you know, being on the other side of it, I have to be honest, it's it's actually, it's actually been really good for me. Um, it allowed me to develop such a character where I don't tolerate any sort of nonsense in any way. And I think I'm really proud of how I've come out of it. And Selena has a lot to be proud of right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm in a really happy place. It's been good. In the last year alone, she nabbed her first Grammy nomination for her EP, Revelation. Um, I cried like a little baby. I was very excited. Um, and I worked really hard on that project. So it was a lovely surprise. Turn the pandemic into a positive, filming three seasons of her hit cooking show, Selena and Chef. It's gonna remove this inside like a professional. Like a professional. Look at that! And earned rave reviews for her biggest adult acting project yet, on Hulu's only murders in the building. Our lives blow up if we all go down for this. Don't you want to clear your name too? See this through. Season two is on its way. And judging by what Selena and her co-stars, Steve Martin and Martin Short, told E.T. last month, we all better buckle up. More crime, more murder. Yeah, yeah that's, and crime and murder. Yeah. And murder uh, mixed, hoping... mixed with kind of an element of crime. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and oh, death, death permeates. That's also really funny. Yes. <laughs> no, we can't tell you anything. No, it's really honestly going to be great. We want it to be the best one. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that does it for this edition of in the Entertainment Report right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Thank you for tuning in and listening. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.